Hello and welcome back to The Ultimate Doom for Episode 4, Mission 4, Unruly Evil, which is a fairly short and fairly easy level as far as Episode 4 is concerned. Now, in this starting room here... Oh, thanks, Sim. You killed that spectre for me. Yeah, I've got a number of low-level enemies in this inspector, so I'll just keep the shotgun equipped until they're all dead. More spectres on the right, too. Once they're dead, I can move in, grab the ammo, jump on this lift, give me a better angle to engage the exempts. Them all dead. I can head into this outside room. You see a window here, I can see more imps down low. There's more on the right there, but I tend to come to this way first, because otherwise, these ones will be shooting you before I try and get the others. Their opening doesn't allow for that nearly as much. Okay, I think most of them are dead now. Just step around here. Anyone coming from down there? No. Okay, we're all good. Let's grab these armor shards. And we're going to go back into the starting room, because you may have noticed on the wall here, one of these torches is not like the other. Just like in Mission 1 of Episode 4, we have to activate the torch to reveal the secret. We'll take care of those two, and then ride it back up, get the switch a second time, and we'll do more. And this time, I'm just going to ride it up, grab all this, step through the teleporter, which takes us back outside. But I'm going to go straight back in, to the left, hit the switch a second time, come through here, pick up that berserk pack. And now I'm going to go through this teleporter, which just takes us down to where we were shooting at those imps earlier. Now you'll see up there, there's actually a wall with a misaligned texture on it. That's going to open in just a second. First I'm going to grab all this ammo and health there. More health files down here. And you'll see that wall opening up. So let's get on the elevator. Go back up. And take out these two. Now we have a red key here, now you're probably expecting this wall on the other side of it to open up as soon as I pick it up, but it's not that wall, it's this wall on the left here. Fire the rockets in, but be ready because there's more demons coming up behind as well. Any spectre, uh, sorry, any imps here survive? Nope, they were all obliterated. So we have the red key, we're ready to move on to the next part of this level. I'm actually going to keep the rocket launcher equipped. I'm going to come around here, open this door, watch out for the spectres up there. Everything's a spectre now for some reason. Watch out for the caca demons up top there. Someone will got blasted all the way to the front end of that room. There's spectres down there though. Looks like that's most of them, so I'm going to run through this room to the invulnerability at the far end. Once the caca demons up top are dead, it's a fairly safe room to navigate through. <coughs> Alright, pick up that, pick up the soul sphere. Now we can see a lot of these. Let's deal with that last spectre. And what I'm going to do now is come around to this wall, drop this single pillar, and sprint along the top here, and do the same to get up to these medikits. Now, because you picked up the soul sphere, there's absolutely no reason for them. I don't know why they didn't have it the other way around. One me uh, one soul, sorry, no, one medikit here and a soul sphere up top. They made it this way for some stupid reason. Anyway, this teleporter is going to take us back out of that room. Probably should have been a bit quicker here to avoid taking damage because down in this alleyway, filled with lava, it's a partial invisibility. Oh, I didn't take any damage after all. And another teleporter. But I'm ready to go through this door. Chain gun equipped. It's good for hitting the shotgunners. Partial invisibility is going to help me in this room. They're going to be missing most of their shots. And we've got a lift at the far end of the room. Now, the way to activate it here, I've got to be quick to hit this switch and immediately get moving. Up top here. Keep my rocket launcher equipped. Two doors, or sorry, two teleporters to deal with. Let's go through the left one first. Which, when I hit this switch, it's going to open this doorway. That's them all dead. So let's step out. And repeat the process. Hit that switch. Jump on the elevator. Ride it up. Through the teleporter. Hit the other switch. Doors are going to open. And they're going to open fire. Okay, all dead. Let's do it one last time. Hit the switch, jump on the elevator, ride it up, and this time we're going to go through to the end of the level. Unruly Evil is finished. Tools 100%, items 100%, and 100% secret. We continue to keep our streak. I'm never really worried about losing it. I didn't care a single bit about items collected in the previous uh, episodes, but uh, now apparently I'm really interested in it. Very short level, one of the shortest we have done. In fact, so short, even though I'm explaining every little tiny detail, I still got pretty close to the part time, only a couple minutes off. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with Mission 5, They Will Repent, at 6 o'clock, and I hope you will join me for that.